at least 16 years. About 25 years, and I, I actually I actually dip tobacco and smoke cigarettes. I didn't like the smell on me. Um, I wanted to live a more active lifestyle. I wanted to be healthy. Um, there were some kind of minor health issues. Kids were getting older and didn't really want them to see me smoking all the time. Didn't want them to have to pick up that, that habit and that addiction. Well, <laughs> we're, we're, we're a little competitive by nature. Yes. Um, so it became, it became a challenge yeah. without us. It was an unspoken challenge. It helped encourage us, you know, as the days went by. Quitting something, if I substitute something else for it, there's a better transition. So what I did was um, I, I basically decided to go race. I, I rode mountain bikes and I decided to sign up for a race down the road so it would keep me honest, so to speak. Um, and, and that became a catalyst for a complete change. And having someone going through it at the same time. You know, you hear people say, take it one day at a time. However, it's, you're smoking, you're, if you smoke as much as I did, a pack and a half a day, that's every, about every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes of a day. So you gotta think, okay, if I, you gotta think cigarette at a time, not day at a time. So the hard part was just how, realizing how often you smoke. There was always this idea that you could quit tomorrow. You know, so when it started to hurt, because it does, it physically hurts mm -hmm. to quit. I mean, it's, it's very difficult, um, you know, or something's going to happen that's going to create a little stress. So you want to go get that cigarette and say, I'll go ahead and quit tomorrow. That's why I say I quit thousands of times because mm -hmm. I did. Um, so that was the that was the biggest obstacle or hurdle for me was finally saying, no, there's not going to be a tomorrow this time. And, and I think what was different this time um, was I told myself um, there's no easy way. If you use an aid to help you, whether it be hypnosis or some kind of medication or nicotine gum or whatever patch, mm -hmm. um, it will mitigate the loss. But if you think it's going to be easy that way and that's the way you're looking at it, there's probably a pretty, pretty good chance it's not going to work for you. If you're ready for the war uh, and you know where you want to end up, you, you've got a much better chance of getting there. If you Go backwards, don't beat yourself up. Just keep looking to where you want to be. If you're looking to the future and you're wondering what the future you would look like without tobacco, uh, trust me, you, you would really appreciate the fact that you made it through that journey and came out the other side. It's tough, but it's definitely worth it.